I feel a lot of pain here. Like when I have the, like here, mm -hmm. I don't know why I feel pain here. Like I feel mm. like I, I cannot do it anymore. I don't feel the pain like in the glutes here. Uh, I don't know why, but that's my answer, problem. Well, I can answer that question for you. That's your left hand, correct? No, I and sure also I'm... with the right, I feel the same with the you right. feel the same with the right? It's, so it's both of them are feeling it. Yeah. And I think probably because I don't have a lot of strength like in my, in my upper body, like in my hands or I don't know why, but it feels horrible. So this is interesting. So you feel the you feel that challenge, that pain that, that, that when you're holding 25s, but you don't when you feel when you're using 50s. No, because I have two. Oh, I, have two. I, I have see. Like okay, two. so you're doing it like that. Okay, so your goblet, your goblet positioning. Yeah. Okay, so this will actually step back to like the idea that we were talking about when it comes to. So now, correct. I, I'll scale back what I was saying before about asymmetrical loading. That's not an asymmetrically loaded exercise anymore. Okay, uh, when you were, we're talking, thinking it was like this. Like that, or like on to the side, and yes, okay. that would be asymmetrically loaded. But on to the front here, now we have it's a whole different ball game. That's going to be a, a normally loaded, like a, a just a standard loaded uh, motion at that point in time, because we're not worrying about more weight on one side than the other. It's coming from the center and now again. So yeah. um, in this particular case, there is a solution. So I have a, an answer for you as to what's going on here, and it has everything to do with grip strength. Uh, right now, your grip strength is being significantly challenged because you're not used to carrying significant significant quantities yeah. of weight like that in your hands. And so as you hold them in your hands, your grip is is just being challenged. And so the forearms are feeling really, really in a lot of pain. They're feeling tight. They're feeling exhausted. They're getting exhausted before the muscle that we're trying to challenge gets it, the challenge yeah. necessary to push it. So now this is one of those fun examples where the idea of strengthening everything within the kinetic chain will make for a stronger individual. This is a weird aside, but follow me as I go there. Recently, I've been doing um, more TikTok content um, and then I, I sort of slowed it down a little bit, but the idea was I was mm -hmm. I wanted to try a challenge where I did a I dead saw hang. The yes. One, yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of questions from people about, well, what does that do? Does that help? Why is that important? Which shocked me initially because I thought to myself, do you guys, did you forget that almost every exercise where you hold weight requires grip strength? Like every pull exercise, every single one of them is going to require grip strength. And there's even a number of other exercises where maybe it's just like a static position, not necessarily a pull, like this exercise with the, uh, the step up where it's not necessarily about pulling anything, but the grip strength plays a major role in how much you can challenge yourself. So this is one area where we're, it's a, we want to find ways to make sure that we can either strengthen or cover the weaknesses in the kinetic chain in order to facilitate a proper challenge in the muscle we're trying to target, the glutes being the focus here, right? So here's what I'm going to suggest. We are fortunate in that we are Popeye's employees. Hip, hip, hooray. So the next time you're in at Popeye's, grab yourself some straps. Uh, the lifting straps that we have that we use for our, like our gift, you now have a but good reason know. to use them. <laughs> I don't know how to use them. Like ah, OK, so you've never used them before, so you're a little bit intimidated. No by the idea of no of, because it's like a line and then you have something I, I don't know how to use it okay it's way easier than you think it is if you want i can give you a little example i have some in one of my bags right 